Morning. Uh, morning, Rita. And how are you this morning? Well, I'll be better when I've got a cup of tea down me. Everything all right this morning? Yes, 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 yes. Fine, fine. Look, I'll I, I tell you what, why don't you uh, take your tea upstairs and, and have it there? Relax a bit. We're, we're not busy. Well, we will be Saturday morning. Well, I'll give you a shout if I need you. <laughs> I know what you're doing, you know. Do you? Yes, and I'm not ungrateful. You're thinking that I ought to relax before the court case on Monday morning, but it's just the opposite. I need things to happen to take my mind off it. Work's the best therapy for me. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah. And I went all the way to England Street for that and all. What does it say? Hardly note. What is the point? You ring up the papers with an exclusive and this is what you get. Bad enough to refuse to pay anything for it, but this. Well, what? Oh, read it yourself if you can find it. Halfway down, page ten. Oh, yeah, blimey. I see what you mean. Newsagent assault charge. Rita Sullivan. Newsagent of Coronation Street will appear at Weatherfield Magistrates Court on Monday, the 2nd of February. Charged with assault on a child. Assault on a child? What child? Assault how bad? What does it say in there about his permanent brain damage or the suffering of his family? Have I got brain damage? You will have, now shut it. See what I mean? What kind of newspaper is it if it don't give the news? I know what's happened. This is sub -Judy. What? They call it sub or something. Papers can't give details of the case until after the trial. That way you get a fair hearing. Only what happened to that in my case, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you, that may be sub Judy, but this is going to be sub Scylla. I'm going to make sure everyone on this street reads about how that child beater abused my poor Chesney. Hi, Rita. Hello, love. I was just wondering if today's Gazette had come in. Yes, of course. Uh, Norris? Uh, the Gazettes came this morning, didn't they? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, they're van trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. Try us a bit later. Yeah, okay. sure. OK, I'll see you later. Bye, love. Well, that's not very impressive, is it? I'll give them a ring, find out what time they'll be here. Eleven, I already found. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, you know I won't be here. You're not forgotten, have you? I'm at the solicitors at eleven o'clock. No, no, I haven't forgotten. And while you're at the solicitors, the gazettes will arrive and I'll sort them out. <laughs> are you all right? Yes, why? Well, your shoulders are all tense. Uh -huh. You're always up to something when that happens. <laughs> I've no problem about pleading not guilty. The only fly in the ointment is if they ask me, did I hit him? Can't lie about that, can I? I think it's best if we consider that you were exercising your rights as a shopkeeper to protect your property. Come again. He was stealing? Yes. And you caught him in the act? I did. You tried to apprehend him, during the course of which it was necessary to impart a blow? Oh, just a little clip, that's all. Exactly, in order to restrain him and recover your property. On his way out, he tripped, banged his head, and this caused the injury. So, he was the architect of his own downfall. Precisely. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. I was beginning to get quite worried. I'm afraid it's not that straightforward. I might have known. Go on. I've presented our case to you. The prosecution case will be just as compelling. There were no witnesses, nothing on the tape from the security camera, and a fundamental difference in the account from both sides. In the end, it'll come down to who the magistrates will believe. The injured child, or you. No smoke without fire syndrome, isn't it? People will read into it whatever they want to. Well, I reckon there was fire. I've heard she has flames coming out of her ears. That's nonsense. And if you'd known her as long as we have, you'd realise that. It's the effect on business that worries me. I, I haven't actually thought this through. I mean, if what Harry says is true, the impact on the cabin... What? Go on, Norris. What impact on the cabin? Uh, have you been telling them where I've been this morning? No. That was my business, Norris. No, it's not, love. It's the business of every decent law-abiding citizen. Which is why I phoned up the Gazette and made sure they put it in. Page 10, everyone. And in case you haven't read it, Rita Sullivan, up for assaulting a child, my child, Weatherfield Magistrates Monday, where she'll get her just desserts. Is this true? In the paper? 
So everybody's ready to Rita! Don't, Rita, wait, let me explain. I just don't understand how you could have kept this from me. I thought it was for the best. I'm a grown-up, Norris. Yes, but I didn't want you to be upset. As opposed to? Look, if certain people had get their mouths shut... No, then... Norris, if certain people had had the common sense to tell me what was going on, I could have been prepared. Instead of which, I was completely unprepared and made to look foolish. Oh, I'm sorry. So am I. Oh, I don't doubt your motives, Norris. They're probably all for the best. But you do see what's happened. If I'd read that piece this morning, I could have gone to the pub knowing what to expect and held my head up. Now, I never want to set foot in the place again. I wish you'd let me do that. No, thank you. You could go upstairs and lie down. You've had a stressful day. Norris, when am I going to get through to you that I am perfectly capable of looking after myself? Yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It... It's just that, well, I'd hate it if anybody or anything hurt you. I've only got the two of you in the world now, you and Emily, and... That's as maybe. I just want to be able to protect you. And you tried, Norris. And the result is I'm now the laughingstock of Coronation Street. I'm sorry. Look, you are a good friend, and I do appreciate you. But please, give me credit for being a little bit mature and sensible. Yeah. Yes, of course. So you don't want me to help you clear up? No. You get off. I think I prefer the activity and the time by myself. Of course. In, in, in the Rovers later? I'll think about it. We're closed. You... What do you want? I don't know. I don't blame you. I said, what do you want? I think it's deal time, don't you? Come again. What you got this afternoon was just a taste of what's to come. What do you think the papers are going to say when the courts find you guilty? I've no idea. Oh, don't play the iron lady with me. You're going to get crucified. And your business is going to go right down the pan. We'll see. <laughs> no, love. I don't hold no grudges, me. I could see you were dead upset this afternoon. All I want is a bit of justice for me, little lad. But I don't have to ruin your reputation to get it. This is your settling out of court idea. It's a grown-up way to do things. Why should we make them lawyers rich, eh? What do you say? Three grand, I drop the charge, we forget all about it, and get on with us lives, eh? Thank you. Eh? Thank you so much. All oh, right, so you agree? Do I, hell is like? I'm thanking you for giving me back my self-respect. Oh, I admit, I was. I was a bit down this afternoon. But knowing that there's still low life like you alive on this planet helps me realise where my rightful place is. And it's certainly not below you. Now, get out. I'll see you in court. Hiding, eh? We'll see about it.